We begin with the court's ruling to toss out the tax hike you voted for. In November 2018, Hillsborough voters approved the 30-year, one-cent increase in the county sales tax to specifically pay for transportation improvements. One month later came a lawsuit challenging it. Now two years later, and it's off the books. 10 Tampa Bay's Liz Crawford explains how this will impact your commute today and in the future. That sales tax voters approved has collected nearly a half billion dollars over the last two years. So one question, what do you do with all that unconstitutional money? Four judges in Tallahassee against 282,000 people, and we respect their decision is final, but um, that, that is not the end of the story today. I know that. The All for Transportation group was behind the 2018 referendum that increased the county's sales tax by one penny. And that setback today doesn't at all take away or detract from the courage that this community showed back in 2018 when nearly 60% of voters uh, voted courageously to fix their transportation system and to take matters into their own hands. Former Hillsborough County Commissioner Les Miller supported the referendum. Slapped the voters, the majority of voters in Hillsborough County in the face and said, we don't care what you did. We found whatever the case may be uh, that is unconstitutional. In an opinion posted Thursday, Florida's Supreme Court said because the amendment dictated where exactly tax money could be spent, made it unconstitutional. The Florida Supreme Court basically said that citizens cannot say how they want their tax dollars spent, but that that is purely within the realm of the power of the county commission. Commissioner Stacy White filed the lawsuit in 2018. Despite those that have repeatedly attacked me, I am delighted with the ruling and it affirms, as it affirms my assertion that this referendum was unlawful. This convoluted referendum was authored by interests consisting of a very small number of individuals who said they had it legally vetted. So about all that money already collected, well, no one's really sure what happens to it. We'll wait for clarification, but Commissioner Overman, who holds the countywide seat, believes the board must find a way to spend that money on transportation needs.